Hey everyone and welcome back. It looks like Fire Stick and Fire TV Cube devices have just rolled out a brand new update. And depending on who you ask, it is either really useful or maybe not such a big deal. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly what this update does, why some people are excited about it, and why others think it could actually slow your apps down. By the end, you'll know if this is something you should use on your device or simply leave alone. Before I dive into the details, I want to give a quick shout out to Joe for bringing this update to my attention. I was not the first to know about it and that is exactly why our private chat community is so valuable. People in that group share tips, updates and new features like this and it helps all of us stay ahead of the curve. To join, simply click the join button under this video. This new feature appears in the latest Fire OS update version 7.704 and higher. I've got it on my Fire TV Stick 4K, which is 7.7.0.4, and my Fire TV Stick 4K Max, which is on version 8.149. If you want to check out whether you have it, go into Settings, then My Fire TV. Then About, and finally click on Check for Updates. Now always make sure you are running the latest version because Amazon does like to shuffle things around with each release. So what exactly has changed? If you go into settings, then applications, you will now see a new option called clear all app caches. In the past, you had to go into Manage Installed Applications and Clear Cache one by one. Now, with a single click, you can clear the cache for every installed app on your device. On my Fire Stick, it even tells me that I can clear 693.32 megabytes of storage with just that one click. On the surface, that sounds really convenient especially if you're running low on storage. How much storage will you be able to free up on your device? Let me know in the comments. For many users, this is the feature they have been waiting for. Now, cache files can pile up with temporary data, thumbnails and other items that most people do not care about. Being able to wipe them all out at once can free up a surprising amount of space. In some cases, people have reported gaining hundreds of megabytes or even close to a gigabyte. But there is another side to the story. Cache files are not just wasted space. They actually help your apps load faster because they store images, icons, and data that the app would otherwise have to download again every single time. So if you clear them all out, your apps will have to rebuild that cache from scratch, which can make them slower to start up the next time you use them. This is why I've always recommended only clearing cache when an app is misbehaving, crashing or simply not loading properly. Using this new option every single day for the sake of maintenance might do more harm than good. Before we get into testing this feature, what do you think about this new clear all app caches option? Will you actually use it on a regular basis or do you prefer to leave cache alone unless an app is giving you trouble? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your experiences and opinions. One other tip after a software update is to double check your privacy and data collection settings. On my device, these settings have stayed the same, but Amazon does sometimes like to reset them, so it's always worth taking a quick look. Go into Settings, then Preferences, then Privacy Settings, and make sure Device Usage Data, Collect App Usage Data, 
and interest-based ads are all switched off. Then also check the data monitoring section and turn that off as well. Doing this not only protects your privacy, but can also help your device run more smoothly. Now, while we are talking about privacy, as a quick side note before you, we continue, whenever I'm streaming or downloading, I personally use NordVPN. It helps keep my browsing private, it prevents my internet provider from throttling my speeds, and it also lets me unlock content from different regions. If you want to check it out, I have left my link down in the description, which will give you a discount and four months of protection for free. I'm not sponsored to promote a VPN, but using that link does support the channel and helps keep you safer online. When I tested the new clear or cash option, I noticed something familiar. The cash never usually goes all the way down to zero. For example, you might still see a tiny amount, like 16 kilobytes left. That is completely normal. Even after clearing, the Fire OS keeps a tiny bit of system level data in cache, and the moment you highlight or reopen an app, it immediately starts generating cache again. Now, I actually made a video about this exact thing back in 2021 when people kept asking about the 16.38 kilobyte cache. So if you see that number hanging around, don't worry, it's just how the system works. My advice is to use this feature sparingly. If you're running out of storage, go ahead and clear the caches once in a while, maybe once a month or whenever that you are really tight on space. Just remember that your apps will rebuild their cache the next time you use them, so expect a slightly lower startup after clearing. And as I said earlier, do not forget to revisit your privacy settings after every update. So that is the new Fire Stick update in a nutshell. Some people will absolutely love it, but others might never touch it. But at least now you know the pros and cons and how it actually works. So what about you? Do you think this is a feature you'll actually use or will you just leave it alone? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If this video helped, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get updates faster, like Joe did, consider joining the channel as a member. That will give you access to our private chat group where we share tips, fixes, and early information that does not always make it into a video right away. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone and welcome back. It looks like Fire Stick and Fire TB Cube device, did I say TB? Yeah. And depending on who you ask, it is really either, re I'm fluffing up already. Because they store images, icons, and data that the app would otherwise, no. Nope.